Meanwhile, at the Great Wall of China... You know, I don't think we ever run into this Black Ninja person. Hello everyone and welcome to the Ninja Gaiden 2 No Death Playthrough. I am your host, Ferris Knight, and this is Ryu. He has some new abilities. Namely, he can do this! It's amazing! Anyway, um, we also have slightly different info gauge. Um, throughout the game you'll collect little pickups that will increase it by 10, though so I think it's about 100 that you can hold max. We also automatically start with the uh, tiny shuriken. Oh. All right. Continue on. Our first new item is this, the down spark, which acts like the exact opposite of the flame shot, which you know would send it. It does this. Fireball down instead of up. Also, the ninfo pickups for blue and red. The blue and red info pickups are slightly different. Uh, blue restore 10, while red, like the one right there, give you full. We have flame shot again. Yay! And it's not blue. Not what I want to do. Now I down spark again. We also have these, the Shadow Clones. Now you too can be a Naruto fanboy. Anyway. Um, they act exactly like Ryu, and allow him to basically go around and slash and stuff like that. Um, they're invulnerable to all damage, but they can attack things just like Ryu can. We also have the flame wheel back, except this time instead of it being just a pickup that replaces your sub weapon, um, it's just a normal sub weapon. It costs 15 info to cast, and it makes you invulnerable as long as it lasts. It's nice. Aw. Ran out right at the right time. Ow! Okay, this is starting to suck. More balloon info! Okay, almost died there. That would have been an awful start. Well, it wouldn't matter, I just have to start over again. This is my second take of this just because I didn't like the first one. Like, at all. Anyway. Here. By the way, yeah, if you fall, if you go down not taking the lever, you will die. This is always fun. Do -do. Oh, anyway. Watch and be amazed! Ow. That was useful. I'm not sure if it's because he charged us at the same time, or it's just this boss, but I was not expecting the, uh... Oh god. The invincibility barrier to fail me in such a way. I don't know. That's how the first story started out. How is it the ninja always gets snuck up behind? 
Okay, one, who's the girl, and two, what the fuck is the Tower of Laja? Why should I trust you? Oh, come on! Every game... Oh, okay. We're just really bad at making sure things are dead, then. Good to know. Oh, he's Batman! Oh no, he's just around the corner, never mind. Okay, hurry where? Okay, yes, we know where. Where do we go? So Ryu bought a train ticket. Oh, cool thing here. The background still moves. Yee. Anyway. Um, yeah, the Shadow Clones are the only thing that will... Well, Shadow Clones will score, I guess. Are the only things, things that will stay with you going to the next level. You'll start each level with, um... I believe 10... 10 info? Or the same amount of info? I don't know. I don't really care either. Um, but you'll only start off with these small shurikens. So. You can also only carry, carry, keep uh, two shadow points at any one time. Aha! Ah, uh, do I want this? Sure. That's a health pickup. I believe it restores six health. I'm not sure. Care either. Ow. Ow. Aha! Aw. Ah. I'm just royally getting my ass kicked. Okay. Um, this is the first introduction to stage mechanics. Um, as you can tell, the wind is really strong here, which either prevent you from moving, or rather prevent you from moving well, or make you move really well. Just depends. Alright. Anyway. Um, one thing I don't like about this level, because the level by itself isn't very hard, it's just uh, a little annoying. Oh, that's the other thing. If you use a windmill shuriken, well you have these shadow clones, rather any special item you use with a shadow clone, they'll create one too. This is kind of a problem with the windmill shuriken because it makes them, well, it make, they, since they throw out their own, you can't use your windmill shuriken until theirs comes back! Oy. Once again, this is why I don't like this level. The wind will change very, very quickly, which can cause you to accidentally either A, jump to your death, or B, just flat not make a jump. It's annoying. Caused me much headache. Ow. That was that Nympho pickup I was talking about. It, I believe it also fully restores your Nympho as well. I'm not quite sure on that one, but. Eh. I, could, I don't really care too much. I don't think it's gonna be relevant, is what I'm saying. Although it could be, depending on where you pick them up. Because. Oh. That jump right there, you need the wind at your back to actually make it. So be careful about that. That has a down spark. Uh, I'm not partial. Not for this boss, anyway. It's easier to do with the up spark. Well, the down spark is still just as handy. There's another one right there if you want it. And that one has a down spark. So, you know, whatever. And now our boss. Spider-Man! Ow. Ow. Also sucks. Oh. Ah. That's good enough. He's not difficult. Although the wind is very annoying. Technically, we ambushed him, because there's more of us. 
well, you. There were so many cliches in that, that actually hurt. I don't know, he's like, what, 35? He's got a good time before him. 